In this video, you'll see how to use the Step Line Series view. This view shows how much values have changed at different points in the same series. We'll start with an empty ASP.NET application. I'll navigate to the Toolbox tab and drag and drop a web chart control onto the page. First, let's increase the chart size. Next, I click the Web Chart Control Smart Tag to invoke its task. In the Web Chart Control Tasks, click the Run Wizard link to open up the chart wizard and we'll choose the step line chart type in the chart types wizard page. Next, click on the series tab on the left and let's remove series two by clicking the remove button. In this video, we'll use series one so the legend element can also be removed from the chart. Next, let's click on the data wizard page and populate the series with data. Now I'll customize the diagram axes. To do this, I click on axes, choose the primary axis Y from the dropdown list and select the whole range tab. To change the auto whole range, I uncheck the auto checkbox and specify the new minimum and maximum range values. You can see how these changes affect the chart axes in the middle of the wizard. Next, I'll specify the axis Y title. To do this, I select the elements tab on the right and check the visibility checkbox in the title tab. Next, specify the axis title text as cents per gallon. To change the format of the axis X labels, I switch to the labels tab, choose Primary Axis X from the drop-down list, and select the Auto tab. Now I'll create the argument pattern by clicking the Add button and applying the month, date, year format by choosing it from the list. Finally, I'm going to add a title to the chart. Next, I'll specify Fuel Oil Prices as the text. Finally, to save all customizations and close the wizard, I click Finish. Let's build the project and run the application to see the results. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.